3D Dragonfly Essential Oil Pendant Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! So in today's video I'm going to be making a terracotta pendant and the reason I'm using terracotta as the base is because terracotta is absorbent and so if you put something like an essential oil on it then as it's on there just those couple drops it's going to diffuse and it's going to give you the scent and the benefits from that just as you're walking around and you're wearing this necklace. So the oil that I'm going to be showing you to use with it which you can use any oil you want it doesn't really matter but the one that I'm going to be showing you is going to be this helichrysum oil and the reason I'm using this one is because it is really good for nerve disorders and nerve diseases and my mother has multiple sclerosis and so for her using this one is really nice because that helps keep all your myelin and your nerves and everything jiving so that is why I'm using this one and I also have been diffusing this oil quite a bit just in my house I have a little diffuser that sits between us a lot of times and so I put a combination of this one and some frankincense in there both are going to help with that nerve nerve problems and with stress and all that stuff so I am using this one and I'm also going to be giving away a bottle of this as well so this is from Pure Body Naturals and so it's got let me open it up quick and show you it's got a nice little eyedropper on it. I really enjoy the bottles that have eyedroppers. Some of them just have a little dropper spout, and I don't I don't like those as much. I do, I really like this. So I'm gonna be giving away that. And also this necklace is or the pendant is also available in my online store, so check that out if you're interested. It is so cool using the terracotta. It's something that, you know, it's it's easy, it's accessible, and it works. So those are all things that add together for a really nice afternoon project if you're interested in making one for yourself. And so yeah, and to enter the giveaway, the rules are pretty simple. You have to be a US resident. The reason for that is because this would most definitely get flagged by customs if I was to try to ship an essential oil over the border. So I apologize, but that is the reason. So US US addresses only. And then you have to comment on this video. So just comment with anything, comment with your favorite color or I don't I don't really care. You can just say hi, it doesn't matter. But I use a random comment selector. So if you don't comment, you won't get entered. And then the last thing is you just have to be subscribed to my channel. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button to get entered. And that's it. Stay tuned to see how I made this and I'll see you in my next video. So this is the terracotta, um, the little pot saucer that I used. And this one is cracked which it makes it a good one to use this for since I can't really use it to put underneath the pot anyway. So I just threw that into a bag and I threw that against my driveway just to crush it and so or to smash it. So then I just picked out the piece that I liked the best and I'm going to be filing off any of the rough edges just to make sure it's nice and smooth. And I used a 150 grit file for this, but I also used a file that is a little older and not as nice just in case because you know you're kind of ruining your file for this. So I just used one that's not brand new and not super not super good so then I'm gonna take and I have some it's jewelry wire but it's a little heavier of jewelry wire and I'm going to be wrapping it around the, the little terracotta shard to create the little frame and so you want to make sure that you're wrapping it enough so that it's not going to be able to get out of there that once it's wrapped up it's wrapped up for life and also you don't want to make you also blah 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 you want to make sure that you leave enough space on the front of it to put a little design. So then I twisted the two ends together and I'm going to be cutting off the one piece as close to that center as I can just like that. And then the other, the other end of the wire I'm going to wrap up and make the little like the loop that you would put your chain through to hang it on a necklace. So then I'm just going to take and create a little circle and then wrap up the other end of the wire around that other piece that around the whole area getting wrapped up like that and make sure that that's nice and tight and that it all looks good and that none of those two ends of the wire are sticking out to where they might irritate or scratch your skin. Just like that. So then on a piece of paper, I'm going to just draw out my dragonfly's wing. So I started with a line just so that I have a good base to make this symmetrical. And then I'm drawing out the two wings. And then I was looking at those and I decided they were far too large. So I shrunk them down a little bit, adding the lower set of wings, just like that. And having that line really does help you make sure that everything stays symmetrical. So then I knew that I was going to be putting these little stones down for the body of my dragonfly. So I just set those out to make sure that the wings were the right size and everything looked like it would fit together nicely. So now I laid a nail form backing over the top of that drawing and I'm going to start sculpting out my wings. So as you can see, you can see the drawing through the nail form and you can, or the nail form backing so you can see what you're doing. So for the upper set of wings, I'm going to be using three shades of blue. So I first started with a dark, the darkest shade, which is kind of a midnight blue uh, next to where the body is. And then I used a sort of a medium teal color for the second section. And then the last one, a really pale sky blue. 
and I just blended those together slightly with my brush. I wanted them to still remain three separate colors, so I didn't want them to be a smooth gradient. I think when you look at dragonflies' wings, they kind of have segments of color and patterns, so I wanted them to still remain segmented like that. If you wanted it to be a little bit more of a smooth gradient, you could take and instead of using three separate beads of color, you could get one larger bead that you dipped three times. So you'd first dip it into the lightest color, then the medium, then the dark, and then sculpt it from there. That would give you a better gradient if that's what you would want. So I'm just going to uh, sculpt those out with my brush. Just make sure that they are within the shapes that I made and that they do match each other as close as I can get them. And so then for the lower set of wings, I'm going to be using green. And so I started with the darkest shade I have, which isn't very dark, and then went to the next color, which is a little bit more yellow, and then the last one. And I don't really have a super pale green, so this color I have is, it's called Mint Hint, and I would, normally I just call it white, but it does have more of a green hue to it. It's sort of a off-white that maybe leans towards green, so I decided that would be the good one to have for the end of this wing. So same thing, blending them together but not making them too blended, if all of that makes sense. So then I'm going to be applying a layer of a no wipe gel top coat over the top of the wings and I'm going to be then curing that 100% and really make sure you completely cover the wings. And then I'm going to be burnishing in some chameleon powder that's sort of a blue to green and that's going to help make the wings look like they're not such different colors and they do go together still. I didn't want them to be the same though, I wanted them to still have their own colors for the upper and lower. And then after that's on there, I'm going to apply a layer of another layer of the gel top coat and cure it again. Once those are all cured, I'm going to set them down on my pendant and just lay them out and see how they're going to fit and make sure that they are going to fit before I start gluing them on. This is also going to let you know where you have to glue them so that you don't glue them in the wrong place later. So I'm just setting them down there using my tweezers and I had I wasn't using my usual tweezers. I lost, I don't, if you watch my videos, you might see that I use like this little pointy tweezers a lot. I lost them. How? I don't know, but they're missing. And I'm afraid all of a sudden I'm going to sit on them and get a, poisy, a pointy tweezers in a bad location. But that's hopefully not going to happen. So I just picked up each individual wing section and I'm going to start gluing them. And these tweezers are terrible. They're a little off center and they were hating me and I kept dropping the wings. So, but it wasn't too bad, except for the last section. That one gave me a little more trouble. The one of the lower wings, that one was a little too long, so I just filed a little bit off the dark green side, just to shorten it a bit. And then I'm going to glue that one in place with, and I'm using nail glue to do this. Try not to get nail glue anywhere besides underneath the wings, because it's gonna leave a shiny spot, which as you can see with this one, it did, I set it down in the wrong place and I got a smudge of the nail glue, which left a shiny spot. And also I got nail glue all over that terrible tweezers on my skin, my fingers. That last wing really proved to be difficult. And so then I'm on the nail form backing once again with this darker green that I have. I'm going to be sculpting out my dragonfly's tail. And so I just set down a bead and I'm pulling it out into a nice long strip. And once that is about 75 to 85% set. I'm going to be picking it up and so I'm using a silicone tool to do this and just sliding that underneath and then setting it down on the nail or not on the nail on the pendant making sure that lines up really nicely and it is okay that it's going off the terracotta because I'm going to secure that in a moment later in a moment later in a moment you know so then in the center of the wings I put down a bead of clear acrylic and then set down the largest stone that I have picked out this is not the largest stone that came in the little set that I got it was actually, I grabbed three of the smaller ones. Quite a few of them are pretty big. Um, so I just grabbed three of the rounder, smaller ones. And then below that, I'm going to be adding another one. And these first two are going to be a darker shade. And then the last one that's going to be for his head is a different color. doesn't matter if it's darker or lighter or whatever. But I think making it two different colors of stones is probably a good idea just to make it look like he's got a head that's a little different. I don't know. It's what I thought would be the best. And as I do this, I made sure to secure the stones into place with quite a bit more of the clear acrylic. And if you're concerned about, I don't know if you can see that there's some a little bit of a wet spot where the monomer for my brush is hitting, that is okay. The monomer does leave sort of a, a wet spot, but after it's on there just a couple minutes, it evaporates and then it doesn't show anymore. And that's the same thing with the essential oils. When you first put the little drip on there, it's going to show up as this wet circle. And then it, for that, it takes a little longer for it to evaporate, 20 minutes, half hour or so. Then the color and the weird shape and spot is gone, but 
this uh, the scent still stays so I just applied some gel sealer over his tail and over the stones and then you are ready to put on some essential oil and wear the necklace and like I said it does as you can see it's already soaking and you can watch it um, but the wet spots still stay there for a second if you wanted to make it less noticeable you could put it Oh, put it maybe at the top of the necklace. That would work too. And so I hope you like this. And like I said, it is available on my online store. And don't forget to comment so you can be entered in the giveaway. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.